Hello everyone, welcome to Wrestling Analysis WrestleCast, hosted by Joshua J. Hadley, Moose Nugget on Wrestling Analysis. And I am here to, with a new guest host, no, no, not guest host, I mean co-host, Dr. Clyde Williams, Wild Nine, Fire 93. Yo, what's up, man? Hello, Dr. Clyde, how's it going today? Bad. I mean, feels good. <laughs> Is that you're finally not grounded? I'm not grounded. Yeah, it's funny that you're not grounded. No, when? When was I grounded? Oh, right, never mind. Uh, all right, let's talk. Let's start talking wrestling. Oh, yeah. Monday night round, the prices were. What did you think? It was uh, funny. Where prices right was same thing, but I could never stayed in prices right. Oh, uh, I don't know. He was getting too old. I thought the price, prices round was very funny as well. I mean, uh, there was like one or two things, but it, you know, one or two things is not. I mean, like with most rounds, it won't be one or two things that made you uh, like. Uh, it was like yeah, it was, I mean, it was all funny, but not. Yeah, I mean, uh, the matches were uh, uh, the worst thing was the body slam challenge, and I thought that was okay. And when the worst thing's okay, it's a good show, I think. Yeah. And uh, e- ECW, uh, compared to most ECWs, they have good two matches this week. It was like one real good match and the uh, other ones, were, well, I didn't enjoy them as well. So, do- Dr. Clyde Williams, uh, did, did you uh, did you want to add anything to ECW this week? Uh, no, maybe not. Alright, so uh, quickly, we, we already did this, but uh, I'm sorry, we had to retape this, I mean, we... We recorded this over, it was too long. We want to talk about Breaking Point real quick right now. Yeah. Alright, so what we do every for every pay-per-view on Risen and Least is we go on... Uh, you, you go down to... You can join... You have to be a member of the Risen and Least first. You can uh, register... To register, all you have to do is click register, put in the information, go to your email, and just confirm that you're a member, and you can, you'll be a member. And to... Yeah. To do pay-per-view betting, it's not betting at all. You just get the get points if you get your answers, the uh, masters. That's yeah, and, correct. and you'll win points if you win all the points. You'll be able to win something cool. Ah, uh, no, yeah, that's like a autograph. <laughs> autograph, uh, the autograph. I mean, me. <laughs> uh, my handwriting is not good. I don't know if anyone will want an autograph for me. <laughs> uh, so what do you go down? Is you go down one, two, three forms down the locker room, and at the bottom of the locker room is PPV betting, pay-per-view betting. It's run by me, and Mikro, Mikaro, and you have to sign to see the pay-per-view betting breaking. That's breaking point. So, uh, so let's let's go down breaking point, Doctor Clyde. Okay. All right. Alright, so they took off the Intercontinental match between uh, John Morrison and Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. I thought that was kind of dumb, but what they did add is a WWE yeah, well. United States title match between Kofi Kingston and The Miz. Wait, I, I, I know you haven't been watching Raw. I think that would be yeah. a good match, and so I hope The Miz goes over. Dr. Clyde Williams will win Kofi Kingston. And the uh, match after that one is going to be a Singapore Kane match. You know, that those six that uh, Ben Rule, when uh, Mick Rule out was Dr. Clyde? Yeah. That's a Singapore Kane. It's between the great Kali and Kane. Yep. And, and I think that's going to be a match where you go to the bathroom there, and, uh, personally. So. Yeah. I'll just go fake vomit. <laughs> yeah, if you watch it, you'll probably really vomit. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, I'll, and I'll throw the bag at him. Uh, so the match after that is a WWE Unified Tag Team Time match between MVP and Mark Henry returning in versus Chris Jericho and Big Show. Dr. Clyde Williams voted for Mark Henry in the MVP, uh, and I voted for the champions. Uh, that should be a good match uh, since uh, we got Chris Jericho and MVP in there. Uh, oh, yeah. Dr. Clyde. And, uh, uh, the next, the next one is a submission called anywhere match uh, between DX and Legacy, and uh, I'm thinking DX would win, but I, I want Legacy to win like Dr. Clyde Williams. Uh, Dr. Yeah, yeah, uh, should be a good match as well. And uh, the next match is Christian versus William Regal. Uh, I think it would be real cool for William Regal since he's really late, late in his career to win the, at least uh, another title, and uh, I think he's uh, a good enough field to win a title right now. And, uh, Dr. Clyde Williams wants Christian. Yeah. You know, the last pay-per-view, they only gave him eight seconds or seven seconds to wrestle. I, like I said, if they give him more than eight seconds, it should be a good match. Yeah, me too. So They should, like, give him, like, 30 seconds or something. <laughs> Dr. Clyde, Dr. Clyde, Dr. Clyde. So this like, one, is, the next match on here is really, really, really interesting. This 
the best in match for the World Heavyweight Championship, the SmackDown main event. Uh, Undertaker challenging CM Punk for the World Heavyweight title. What do you think of that match, Dr. Clyde? Yeah, it's going to be a, like, fucking name, man. It's going to be badass, man. Well, I wouldn't say it that way, but it's going to be a really good match. It's interesting because these two never wrestled each other. Undertaker, the old guy. CM Punk, the new uprising guy. Uh, I think Undertaker should drop the CM Punk. You think Undertaker should win? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna fucking pick him up like a piece of pipe. Uh, Dr. Clyde, he, he probably thinks the Undertaker should win because he doesn't want Undertaker to tap out. I think it would be good if Undertaker tapped out and dropped the same punk, give him some credibility. credibility. Uh, but, uh, you know, it would be kind of weird for because uh, this match is really, really interesting. You, I mean, if, if you you gonna buy the pay-per-view this is the match to buy it for and the main the raw main event is an I quit match for the WWE title I don't even see John Cena saying the words I quit in this match but so I see him be- becoming the WWE champion what about you Dr. Clyde? yeah and I, ne- I never see John Cena ever quit before uh, I saw him t- uh, he tapped out before but that was like in a match with Kurt Angle and on No Way Out uh, that was a long time ago so let's talk about TNA real quick Right on time. So T- TNA Impact, uh, Roxy returned. Uh, she was looking better than ever, I thought. And uh, another thing was uh, was that knockout take team title tournament. What do you think of that one, Dr. Clyde? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what? Uh, no. You don't know? You, you don't watch TNA? I do, but... You, you mean the other TNA, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Clyde, Dr. Uh, sometimes I worry about you, Dr. Clyde, but oh well. Uh, all right, so, TNA Impact was a good... They had more wrestling than angles. It was a real good angle. And I thought Homicide turned on Hernandez. They did that awesomely. And uh, the, another thing that added to that is they didn't have a, a turn in a while, so that was really good. And yeah. Smackdown is great as usual. St- I thought... Uh, uh, John Morrison versus Charlie Haas. I almost forgot his name, uh, man. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Haas was a good match, and uh, I kind of disliked that stupid Mr. Ziggle segment they had on there, but oh well. Undertaker. Ziggle, Ziggle, Ziggle. <laughs> He's getting a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, the, and the opening segment of CM Punk and Undertaker was good, and uh, another thing uh, was was the match between him and Matt Hardy. That was a good match. Uh, that was alright. No, uh, Dr. Clyde doesn't like submission wrestling. See, he he liked that Belfast brawl when uh when he, when Mike Knox was acting like it was Donkey Kong and throwing all those trash cans at Finley. Oh yeah, man. That was Dr. Clyde's. I I enjoyed that match. That was a good match too. I thought that was a good match too. And Crime Time versus uh Big Swan Chris Jericho was good as well. Yeah. And, and uh before we run out of time, let's talk about two WWE real quick. Breakdown. I lost my title to uh, Mercy. Yeah. You, you should have think about that, cause well, I did it at 2 a.m. and uh, uh, I should have just done it early. But uh, I'm so busy with this college and stuff. Uh, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna be in back for Dr. Clyde. That's ah, you gonna fucking try to do whatever we can, uh, and, uh, and I'll even take the. <laughs> uh, I think I would rather take the majority of average than Bo. I'm kidding you. And uh, Frankie Young and uh, defeated Jason Reed, who only lo- that would be his third match ever lost in the WWF. And uh, another match, the main event was uh, Mark Storny Story defeating uh, Daddy Diamond. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we talked about everything. We have like a minute left before we go over time again. Uh, the- Go to Wrestling Unleashed, register, and you can join the E-Federation, and you can do all these awesome things. You can do pay-per-view betting, and uh, th- thank you for joining me and Dr. Clyde Williams. Uh, any last words, Dr. Clyde? No, hell yeah. There's a lot of things I wanted to touch on, Jeff Hardy and whatnot, but you'll just have to wait till next week or maybe another edition. Uh, Alright, good night, everyone. Yeah, good night.